morning guys dates here on the European Open uh, chosen one is a tonsil just off the Car Caravan Park where we're staying um, basically just come off the Caravan Park straight down to the beach and we walked about uh, half a mile to the right because we, we've been messing about this morning got up at half four uh, had a quick breakfast coffee and uh, just waiting Craig to find his uh, wanky so that uh, that wasted a bit of time this morning uh, we couldn't get to where we wanted to fish because last time I fished here we fished into a gully I managed to get a nice well not massive cod but still uh, sizable for this event so but, um, fishing into pretty deep water here nice nice bit of slope uh, high water is half past nine the event starting at nine o'clock so we're gonna fish uh, half an hour up and then about five hour down uh, rain closes up four o'clock so we need to pack up by three and walk back we've got a good 20 minutes walk from here that's oliver doing a bit of casting this morning well we've been all doing a bit of casting this morning yeah um it's nearly yeah nearly 20 past seven got all my rigs ready rig choices today if you watch my bass videos similar setup t not there what it does just creates a bit of a uh, boom what it does just uh, keeps it off the rig body like that so it's new just slightly off the rig body there it's one up one down uh, top hook single kamazan 3 -0. Uh, bottom hook yeah same 3 -0 and a 5 -0 circle the idea is big bait on the bottom maybe fish bait squid maybe full squid on there and a look bait on top you're only allowed three hooks and fishing one rod but well, that's three hooks there on my spare ones that's a three hook clip down thanks to Carl he made them so if you want to get some distance uh, that's what I'll be using so I'll be rotating between three rigs uh, three hook clip down all got six arms grippers the other one exactly the same setup like my bass rigs but just uh, on my bass rigs I use a uh, panel set up on them but you only allow three hooks so I've got three of mustard worm hooks on there uh, just just big enough for all, any species uh, aim is to get a nice cut out of here today to get on the board but um, anything will do in size the white in white in is 35 centimeters uh, flat fish 30 centimeters uh, cod uh, it will be 40 centimeters to be weighed in um, I'm not sure rays I think they're 40 45 something like that to be measured but the rays are catch and release so the basses Yeah, fishing my uh, continental rod today. Red Shelly, Enigma. Pass off the 300 grams, pass very really well. Ideal for this sort of fishing. Paired with it and spin fisher 7500. 50 pounds straight through braid. Um, just got my any fish anywhere, but as a spare, just in case if I snap off or or rod snap, so what it goes wrong with just swap onto that rod and I'm using my new tripod that I bought um, Ian's gold super match went for a six foot in the end 
it's a nice bit of a tripod there. First time using it, so might give me a look, who knows. Yeah, uh, I'm paired up with Joe there. Carl just come to watch us. He's got he's got a rod, he will get a rod out for himself. He's not competing. Uh, Oliver there paired up with his dad. Craig, we want he went to the one now. I'll be back in a minute. So we all set lovely start to the day. Uh, light showers up until midday and then it weather's turning I think. Uh, south easterly so we're in Tunsil now so the wind be blowing from our right to left but as you can see that nose there comes out a bit of a shelter here at the moment so we might be alright conditions look pretty good so we were fishing into the deep water here nice and steep that's it I'll just I'll get more to the actions on the camera anyway. Hopefully get on the board today. Uh, either way, it's been a nice, nice event. Uh, this is my first time fishing the European Open. Yeah, good, interesting. Uh, meeting up with subscribers and uh, people who are watching the channels and meeting up with new people. Great event. But I don't want to talk much, say my passive. And uh, probably get back to you when we, when we start fishing. About an hour and a half now, from now on. So, stay tuned, guys. So, wish us luck. That's it, nearly the time, guys. Two minutes to go. All set, ready to go. Using two up, two up, one down. Rock burn. Black look. And then raise the clamp. Here we go. Handers the rods are lined up. Right, let's get ready. And then I've got two two spare rigs all baited up as well. So not wasting any time. Let's go. 59. Put you down. Nine o'clock. Get that bit. That's it, we're fishing everyone. Vicious luck. Hopefully get a couple of nice fish on the camera. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm fishing uh, paired up with Joe onto my right. Craig and Oliver onto my left, they're paired up. So, yeah, hopefully get a few fish. So stay tuned. Hopefully get back years on the first cast with a nice fish. Right, second cast, been about 45 minutes now. Um, weather changed, wind picked up, saw the cast, it was nice and sunny earlier. But um, not seeing anyone caught a fish yet. Slow start. 
trying to change the bait every 20 25 minutes uh, to keep the keep that sense going as you know the, the water color the quality pretty murky here so nice fresh bait with the sense it will do the job uh, there's two rigs uh, there are ready to go mussels bloody squid there and a little uh, that rain holds for us it was awful yesterday watching the lads fish uh, they end up uh, packing up a couple of hours early it's awful conditions uh, it's pretty good here uh, nice bit of a swell uh, not much of a weed to be honest uh, <coughs> Vicious luck, hopefully get a couple of fish. I think it's gonna take one or two nice cod to win the competition. As you know the fishing been pretty poor this this winter all around the country really. Uh, but I fish uh, Mersey. I didn't even bother the last couple of months, just been targeting bass. But uh, all around the country the, the cod season have been very poor. But you do have a uh, nice runs, um, spring runs, March and April around the, around this coast. You do catch cod all year round in, uh, in this North Sea. I've I've caught one in August, a couple of years ago. So the cod do say locally. So hopefully that cod find our base in a minute and uh, get us on the board fingers crossed guys we'll get back to you if you get anything pick up a bit there we go, we're off the mark, what have we got? Viking <laughs> well it looks like a white in <laughs> then, then Viking no white Finally off the mark, about hour and a half into the <laughs> competition. Uh, just three, three centimeters short. Okay, it was 32, so it has to be 35 to weigh in. So, missed it by three centimeters. So, we off the mark. It took the razor clamp on the one up, one down. So, I've got a fresh bait out now, no messing. Just gonna uh, change the bait on the spare rig now and uh, get prepared. I reckon we'll have a better chance of near the low water about two or three hours before low. Uh, low tide about half three. Uh, fishing ends at three o'clock. I reckon midnight, not midnight, midday till two o'clock. I think we'll have a better stamp of fish coming in. That's that's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, off the mark, four of us fishing, first fish off the competition, happy with that, just a shame, three centimetres shorter, but I'll take it, it's not a blank, well I'll get back to you if we get anything else. This got to be the hardest session ever guys, and it's 20 past one. And only just got a white in, which was on on this on the size size limit to keep for the weighing. Joe on my right, he's blanking. Couple of guys on my left, they're blanking. Uh, Oliver and uh, Craig, they popped up. Oliver didn't feel well. He it was cold, so they gone. Still got an hour and a half till the match finishes, but. I don't know, just fish not there today. There we are. Um, I've just seen we got like three different rigs and then load of different baits on. So still using like mussels, 
uh, razor plums, squid, uh, yellow tails, frozen black, even at the healer crops. So nothing's working today. If fish aren't there, you're not going to catch them. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen today. Like I mentioned, I think it's going to take one or two nice fish to win this, comp uh, fish to, um, win this competition. Um, hopefully, better luck tomorrow. Yeah, nothing else to say really. Uh, I might have one more cast uh, that, that pre baited there. Mussels, razor clam, and a uh, pink squid. We'll get that one out next cast in a within 10 minutes and uh, see if we can minkle on the last cast. The bead picked up as well, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, swell's quite big. Big swell out there. Rock tips bouncing. We've probably got a weed on it. Yeah, it's not been fun at all. Luckily, rain held on. The sun's out. Uh, been kind of dropped. Still a bit windy, but not much like, like before. If I have anything else, I'll get back to you guys. If not, obviously in the caravan or at the presentation this evening. Welcome back everyone, we're at the presentation, um, it's been delayed a little bit, uh, they're checking on something, I don't know what, but looks like a uh, four and a half pound raise won, the, won the today's event, literally it's been that poor, there have been a few, co few cards been caught but nothing massive. Uh, biggest cut, I think it was about four pounds, something like that. But uh, yeah, but good here. Plenty of people. Unfortunately, we're not on the board, but as always, tomorrow, fingers crossed. Um, I might get a couple of more shots uh, off tonight. If not, we'll see you guys tomorrow, nice and early, somewhere. Who knows where yet? Yet to decide it. So, see you guys on the beach. <laughs> 